Why do we give financially to support the mission and ministry of St. Thomas? Well, before we answer that question, I think it's important that you understand what St. Thomas means to us. David and I have been members here for almost five years now, and when we initially came to St. Thomas and we were visiting, uh, we were engaged and we were really looking for a church that we could belong to in the area. David and I both um, were brought up with different religious backgrounds, and it was really important to find a place that we both felt at home. Uh, when our first service, <laughs> our first visit, as everything concluded, and we even had some time visiting with some members, and they took time to welcome us and greet us, we got in the car, and I don't even think do. a minute, I mean yeah, both out of our mouths, it was like, this is where we want to be. Um, the people were so warm and welcoming. There's such a strong spiritual light and warmth at the church. Um, this is what makes St. Thomas so special, and we, you really have to give the people credit for that. They are the light and they are the warmth at St. Thomas. Our church family comes from all walks of life, but what unites us is that it is our faith and our love of Christ. Um, together, as a church, we seek to love serve, worship, and learn. All we do here is rooted in love uh, with our church family as well as the outreach being done in the community. We are grateful to be a part of this family and we hope others can experience how special it is as we continue to grow and get back as a congregation. Yeah, as Natalie mentioned, it really is so much about the people and it gives you a comfort when you give to such a caring congregation such as St. Thomas. Our decision to give really comes from a place of humbleness and humility and uh, recognition that, you know, we're not in charge of a whole lot in our lives. And, you know, matter of fact, our stewardship theme this year is grace in the midst of the storm. And certainly 2021 and 2020, of course, have been very stormy. And um, there's a humbleness and there's a love we feel and a grace we feel by giving fearlessly and generously really in such a tough and tumultuous time. Uh, certainly our blessings are countless, but by giving we know that the ministry of St. Thomas will continue to flourish, uh, not only for our immediate church family, but uh, as Natalie mentioned, into the community and through our outreach programs so uh, it, it really has been amazing for us how through such a tough time we've been able to grow this last year um, and you know it's it's really crazy circumstances with covid but um, through things like father scott's uh, prayer before service and then our online service and now a drive-through communion uh, it's really been a blessing in such a difficult time and it, it, it's given us a lot of time to pause and reflect while being at home and really discover what our faith really truly means to us. We certainly are steadfast in our faith in Christ and we recognize the hardship of giving in such a stormy time. But again, uh, there's a rewarding feeling we get um, to give fearlessly and lovingly to the mission uh, and ministry of St. Thomas. And we certainly thank you for letting us share our message with you today. We, uh, we hope you all are doing well. We miss you and we hope to see you soon. God bless.